Hey guys, it's John and Cody here with NBC and Cody is going to be sending off 25 cards to PSA. Check out what he'll be sending here in just a second. All right, as John mentioned, I have another PSA order going out. I just had to scrounge up some cards. He said, I don't have any cards to send, guys. You know, that's my last order. And then he yeah. comes up with 25 cards. <laughs> I was uh, done with orders uh, three orders ago. Um, <laughs> I told the guys earlier this year that after this, after the second order of the year, I was done. And that didn't happen. But nevertheless, I have about 25 cards, maybe 26 cards in here that are being sent off, already pre-graded them, so when they come back, I can do the push-up challenge. <laughs> um, but let's just jump into it and see what we got. Starting off with some heat. Ooh, got a little Josh Allen rookie. This is the premier level silver that's a, prism. It's a prism too, very yeah. nice. Should be a nine, it's just a little OC. I will obviously take a 10 if they give it to me. <laughs> got a uh, Trevor Lawrence, a little off-centered um, concourse silver prism. Really nice card. I think it's still within tolerance for the centering. So um, it's Trevor Lawrence. So I said it was going to be a nine. <laughs> Safe to assume. Yeah. Uh, we haven't really had that much luck. Except Gino. for your, your most recent order. Yeah. Uh, Geno Smith treated me really well. Low entry point, And if he uh, grades out, it's totally worth it. So this is an, an elite aspirations out of 93. What's with 93? Not sure. That's a weird number. Yeah. I'm they, sure it means something. They had a, they have a lot of weird numbers. <laughs> so we have uh, one of those Masquerade Super Short Prints. Um, I believe the Gina comes back. I think it has a chance at a 10, so I'll just say a 10. The Masquerade's a little off-centered, so I'm going to say it's a 9. You're saying off-centered up and down? Um, yeah. Because I had the same card except Trevor Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Almost all of them look like that. So you're going to have oh, a lot cool. of room up top above the mosaic logo and not a whole lot of room below their name at the bottom. So that's actually, that's about what my PSA 10 looked like. So, okay. Maybe it's, maybe that is right because that reflection image there kind of shows off his face. Mm -hmm. And if he, if it wasn't that, uh, you wouldn't see it. So I'm going to say anywhere between a nine and a 10 with that, with that statement. This guy again. We got a couple Sam Howell here. Uh, got two black uh, or black and white silver variations. Um, I think one of these was, I think actually both of these are pre-graded at 10. You only send 10s, right? Only send 10s of Sam Howell, or at least I hope. And then we got two uh, black prism uh, Sam Howell cards here. These both should be a 10. I love how the prism black silvers look. They almost look better than the regular silver prisms. Yeah, obviously. they do. So that little gradient with the silver in the middle, so nice looking. Two of those. Actually, I pulled one of those, so a little sentimental value. Ooh. Uh, couldn't be a Cody submission without a continuous optic. So here's a silver prism. Uh, I believe this will be a ten. Thicker card, but the continuous optic just look amazing. The rookie tickets. Yeah. The one I didn't like so much was the two thousand and one with. T Law, Trey Lance, all those guys. I didn't think it looked. I didn't think it looked as good, but that one looks real nice. Yeah, Contenders Optic is has always been really well. Um, These also some look of really the color, good. the color schemes with Contenders Optic are a little wonky. But um, anyways, this is a uh, preview. Um, it is out of fifty, mm. so got a really really good deal on this one. Actually, got it in an auction. Um, I think this comes back a ten, but. Um, we'll the, see. the centering on those cards, the optic for 2022 is really deceptive because it mm. looks off centered as you can see here, but you got to look at the border of the black, I guess. And yeah, it's, it's just tough. It looks not necessarily to the eye as centered, even if it is centered. Yeah. So I've been centering it to the left of the same yeah. owl border to the right of here. The black and then yeah. it's, it works really well, but I have, uh, two Sam Howell hollows, uh, got, Four of four on the last order, so let's see if I can get two of two on that. Got a classics, Sam Howell. I believe this is out of, yeah, it's out of 20. Nice. I didn't even guess, I just looked. Um, <laughs> I think this one comes back at 10. It was a really, really nice looking card. Hopefully it comes back at 10 because no one collects classic. Um, we got a uh, clearly Don Russ out of 49. It's a little color match. I like that. Uh, probably going to come back a nine because it's clearly, I, I'm confident. I thought it was really clean, but just haven't had the luck with clearly Don Russ. 
uh yeah this is a little wonky one and from illusions but it is out of 75 um i believe this is kind of like a red parallel so it got a little color match too um comes back it's at nine. cool looking i'm gonna say it comes back at nine though this is a cool one that is a super cool one drake london black prism out of 25 Woo. the only thing i saw you can kind of see it on the interior there's his thigh there a little white mark it's almost like the um the the black paint or whatever on his thigh is missing it's not a pit but it's, so it's like missing, under under the surface the finish pigment. interesting i'm not sure um so i i didn't look up other drake london cards to see if that was consistent across the board but um, I think this is a 10, otherwise um, they'll deem me for that. Got a nice little Chris Olave, who I think is going to be a freaking stud this year with Derek Carr. A uh, nice little Silver Prism, think this is going to come back a 10. I'm not backing down this time. I know last time I said it was a 10. Mm -hmm. And right before the push-up challenge, I said it was a 9. That's like a throwback variation of the Prism. This is the throwback. This yeah. is the uh, flashback. Um, and I think this is the coolest card. I love the flashbacks. What year was that? Like 2012? 2000 was... Or it kind of actually, looks like no, Mike, Mike Evans looking. Um, I'm not sure. Well, if it's Mike Evans, it'd be 2014. It'd be before that. I'm not sure what year flashback to. Pretty cool though. Yeah. Either way. Really nice looking card. Silver Prism, Chris Olave. Another Chris Olave. This is a Contenders mm -hmm. Optic. Um, I was talking about this one in the gym. I think this one's going to gym. <laughs> um the other the other two silvers i got were really bad so ladies and gentlemen make sure to check your card after you purchase it and if it's scratched to holy hell send it back because ebay will protect you um rashad okay. bateman looks little, super nice little color match out of 35 that, that number one number one out of 35 Woo! yeah got some heat there i think rashad bateman's uh gonna do some big things this year for the baltimore ravens i mean he's he's there with odell he kind of right? has to yeah yeah and nobody else. And nobody else. Um, so picking it up, more heat with some skilled players. We got a Rashad Bateman field level tie-dye out of 25. That's such a nasty looking card there. 18 out of 25. It did have a relatively weak back corner. So I, uh, this one right here, um, it almost looks like an extra. Well, I'm going to say it's a nine. Just play it safe um, and hope that it comes back a 10. Talk about another filthy card. Oof. Rashad White, Blue Ice out of 15. Um, I'm an ASU alumni, and this guy is as well. So, uh, And he's a Buccaneer. So he's a starter. It's a match made in heaven, yeah. him and I. So Rashad White, if you see this, love you, dude. Good luck this year. Um, I know he's not going to see this, but uh, <laughs> really nice card. I think this comes back a 10. I hope it comes back a 10 because it would be a sweet PC card. Sticking with Rashad White, got a Clearly Don Russ out of 99 auto. So this got redeemed actually two days before I got this order ready. So cut it out, looked pretty good. So I'm gonna send it out, I think. You actually received a card back from Panini? Yeah, they redeemed what? it really quick, yeah. It I'm still, only took about a month. I'm, I'm waiting on cards from two years ago for a couple Kyle Pitts autos. I still don't have them. Yeah. Still don't have them. It hurts, it hurts. Uh, because you just sign your freaking card, sign it. Pitch. Yeah, Rashad White got to it quick. <laughs> uh, Damian Pierce, he was a stud for me last year for fantasy football, so I got one of his Silver Prism autos. Um, open for a ten. I know I've been pretty consistent with that hope on this video. And how about some Zach Martin? Hey, there you go. So these two cards um, are variations, and they were salvaged with a little bit of. Uh, Maguire's on top. Really? So I'm gonna be honest. I touched these up. They were super scratched, um, and I don't I don't consider Zach Martin a PC, but it is a long term hold. These cards easily were about a six or a seven due to the surface scratches, and I think they probably bumped up to an eight or a nine. That'll be an um, interesting test. Yeah, it definitely will. Both right sides uh, next to the row had some surface scratches, so we'll see how that comes out. Um, I was just happy to to bump it up a little bit. There are still some surface scratches that are visible, but I mean, it's Zach Martin. I think I think he's one of the best guards of all time. And so. I remember this one. Yeah, so I actually cracked it. I cracked this one from our last PSA video. It got a PSA eight. I did see it. Some issues on the top surface. It almost looked like an adhesive. And guess what? I used some Aguirre's as well. Um, did not come out perfect, but I think it will probably get a nine. 
Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but I didn't want it in an eight. So crack that bad boy open and we'll see what PSA says. So that's a pretty solid submission that you got in the a very yeah. wide variety of players, positions, and even a little bit of baseball there at the end. So thank you. I'd be pumped for that one. Yeah, well, if I can get some good grades, I think yeah, I will be pumped as well. But if I get I some nines, so. if I get a whole bunch of nines, <laughs> it, it will, will hurt. I mean, it, honestly, you if might I be doing some push-ups. <laughs> if I can get two cards to gym, that's a big be, card that Josh Allen there. Josh Allen, yeah. but I know it's OC. And it would be this card right here. That's a sweet one. So as well. PSA, if you're watching, those are the two cards I want to gym. You can give me a nine on every. She got a slip like a twenty dollar bill in there. there. <laughs> yeah, in between the cards. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Um, but yeah, that's my cards for uh, our preseason. Our this is our last preseason yep. PSA order. Um, so be sure to leave, leave some comments below what you think of this order. If you want to show me about using Maguire's on those last three cards, so be it. Ha let me have it. Um, just don't tell a PSA about it before the guards are graded. So, <laughs> But anyways, y'all, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.